citizen. Good evening, yeah. viewers. We are joined by Mayor Akekwelo. I always say the proud Ikorudu boy. Good evening. All right, so the team is ready. I hope you are. Okay, let's go. You know, after Justice Abimbola Awogboro of Lagos High Court sentenced cross-dresser Idris Okune, also known as Bob Risky, to six months in the slammer without any option of fine, it was clear that the anti-graft agency, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, was going to bear more fines. Top socialite Pascal Okechuku, better known as Kubana Chief Priest, is in the eye of the EFCC storm He's been arraigned in court over Naira abuse. The said crime occurred on February 13th, 2024. You know, he pleaded not guilty and has therefore been granted bail in the sum of 10 million Naira. Do we expect the EFCC to go the whole hog, Jide? Yeah, they've already begun to go the whole hog. If um, they can arrest him and put him on trial, they are going the whole hog. It's, um, is now firmly in the courts of the judge to decide this matter. Um, Kubana chief priest asked for bail mm. on compassionate grounds. Uh, he said because of his weight that it offers palpitation and that he has uh, about 1,000 workers who will suffer uh, if he's uh, locked away. Now, the bill for 10, 10 million naira, a bill in the sum of 10 million naira has been granted him. Too Immediately, he, uh, <coughs> after he got bail, yeah. he posted money na water on, uh, <laughs> on uh, Instagram. This is the reason some judges would want to um, visit the full weight of the law on some of these people. Mm. Because for people who have so much money, there is no telling them to pay a fine of 50000 is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Or the actress the, that was the jailed. The law. No, uh, the judge... You know, the actress that was jailed mm. initially, just the same way that Kubana Chief Priest pleaded not guilty. She pleaded not guilty in the first instance. Later on, you know, the, her case lasted about a year. Mm. Later on, yeah, I remember. she pleaded guilty. And then the judge fined her 300,000 naira. The judge fined her higher than the law stipulates. But it is well within the power of the judge, judge to fine and still jail. Okay. There is that provision in the, in the law that the judge can fine you and jail you at the same time. So when people say, ah, the, um, uh, the judgment against Bobrisky was high-handed and all that, the judge did not visit the full weight of the law on Bob Risky. Because if the judge wanted to do that, she would have first fined him before jailing him. Mm. Because the law provides for that, for you to find I, I and jail at the same when time. when she asked pointedly, mm. are you a man or a woman? Of course. Uh, yeah, yeah, because uh, when he went for the first time, he dressed like a man. When he went the second time, when he was here, he dressed like a woman. So the, it's, um, I think that this, this one will last uh, for some time because... You mean the case? Yes, just yeah. like the last one. Mm. Just like, uh, I mean, just like... Um, the actress you talked about. Yes. Uh, more, more saying uh, something. I forgot the name, name too. Yes, he, he was flaunting new naira notes at a time when people could not even lay their hands on the naira. It was during the naira repainting yeah. Yeah. Uh, exercise. 
itinerary painting. And she was telling Nigerians that, look, I have, I have money, if you don't have dollars. You know, so, so people were irritated, you know. So I believe that uh, this, this case will take some time. But now those who believe that they can do what they like with our currency. Yeah, we'll think again. They will think again. Look at Portable as I wind up. Portable is scared now that they will come for him because on issues with Jide, I mentioned the fact that Portable and uh, uh, Kubana uh, chief priest could be arrested and put on trial. Now, what, this is what uh, Portable said. I didn't deface the Naira. I help a lot of people. After God, now government, please forgive me if you have videos <laughs> of me spraying money. No more spraying of money. So at, at the end, there was a party somewhere on uh, CMD Road last, last weekend. People behave themselves. Oh, yeah. Because of what, uh, that, what happened. That's to, the big idea. But uh, people throwing our currents. I wonder why the producer will not show us videos of this thing, because we have it. Why, 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 okay. why, why are you okay. delaying? OK. Look, just look at, look at what Kubana Chief Priest yeah. is doing here. Yeah. Look at what he's doing here. Look at what he's doing here. Does it make sense to, to behave like this? It's our currency. You will never treat the dollar like this. That's why you go to the bank, even in the see, bank, they see. give you dirty notes. See. Look at what they are doing. People stepping on our currency. And it costs a lot of money to, 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 to print. To, to mint this currency. Yeah. It costs a lot of money. Yeah. And just stepping on it, I mean, showing utter disregard for our currency. Look at what he's so, doing. Sorry. We are in Mayor, an oversized so, uh, quote. Uh, it, and, uh, the, the, this is away from what you are thinking. Do, do, does the white man spray? No, 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 because uh, spray is, is, is cultural, but not the way they are doing it. The, the spraying came about to, for you to appreciate an artist. Okay. You understand? And when it was started, in, in, those, in those days, in those days, people do it with dignity. But now, it now got to a stage that people now, you know, in this age that we live, people now, people now want to show off, want to show that they are above the law, want to show that they can do whatever they like. Yes. You understand? And they now, they now, they, they now spray money in a manner that is so irritating, it's so, it's so irritating because you see a lot of money on the ground, and then they will now start we'll marching on, on it. it eh? They will be stepping on it, and they will not bother that like that. Yeah, what is doing? And you see, I want to say something about Obi Kubana. I, yeah, I'm just Kubana chief, no, no, I, Kubana chief Kubana, no, Sorry, mm. Kubana chief priest. Mm. I am. I pity him. You know why? Because when you go to court, you have been you have been charged for an offence, and you have uh, you made your plea, mm. and you appeal to the judge to say that please, I want to be admitted into bail, mm. and the judge obliged you, and the following day you went on social media. And you were ranting that money is water. Yeah. You are trying to show that <coughs> there was no remorse. Yes. You understand? Yes, it may take six months. It may take one year mm. to do your case. But you have made your case worse because the judge the, will see that impudence that's it. and wait for you. Yes. Because There's another day. You see, the difference in their own case is mm. a strict liability. That is what. You should know. It's a different thing when you go to court and you plead not guilty. You understand? Mm. And the prosecutor needs to prove a case it's, beyond, it's case the beyond reasonable doubt. Yeah. In this case, it's strict liability because there is a video of you yeah, doing that, of... several videos of you doing that, which you cannot it, deny. Is he going to say which that, is a, which is a, which is which is a fact? Is he going to say case. it's not the one in this? That's video. what I'm saying. So it is strict liability. Yeah? Whether you like it or not, let the case take one year. It's already it's, will be sad. there is strict liability on it because there are several evidences. In yeah. this case, three different parties where he was doing these things. So, I, 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 you know, if the FCC, EFCC says he spent at least two hours spraying, yeah. so you are looking at two hours spraying the 500 naira because, and the picture, Yes, and it's there because and the video shows all that. So, yes. And the money was and that much. There are at many videos. At the time, many, at the time, videos. at the time, there is <coughs> hunger in the land. And, but you know the yes. irony of it. The yes. irony of it, 
they posted these videos themselves. Yes. Mm. It's not as if that somebody... Okay. Mayor, yeah. that okay. actress, they posted. even on her phone. Yes. When they arrested her... You understand? On her phone, they found videos of herself spraying. Because they think this thing is just a kind of status symbol. Let's show people oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that, uh, you know, they, they, they feel hip doing this. Look at, but look at, attraction. Look at mass courage stepping eh. on our currency. Look at mass courage. Mm. Kubana chief priest is extremely notorious for this kind of behavior. It's extremely notorious. The brother does not go to this land. Yeah. He doesn't go to That's this uh, land. Obi. Obi, yes. yes, Obi Kubana. He doesn't go to this land. And some of the people who spray money in this way, they are not known for generosity. Hmm. I'm telling you, all they do is just show off. If people and drawing if somebody attention. is ill and they go to them, ah, why don't you help? They will not show mercy. But you see them at party. We don't, we used to have friends like that in school. They can buy. They can buy cartons of beer for you to drink, but they can't give you money. Hmm. We have friends like that. They will buy, if it's to drink, that's why they, that, they are, they are, they are, this thing, generosity is limited to buying beer for people. They can't give people money. They can't show mercy. So if you have so much money, there are orphanages all over the place. There are people who need to stay alive, yeah. but they can't yeah. pay their hospital bills. Let's see you show your generosity towards people who desperately need to be helped. But they are never to be uh, 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 found doing such things. All right. Only uh, just to show one. Look at that. Look at that one. Okay. We are hard stepping on the currency. We're this hard, is very annoying. We're hard pressed for, for time. Uh, Jide and uh, Mayor, the eye of and the Nigerian, and my humble self, the, our eyes are on this case. Yes, now. Yeah. No so we, we can't forget. Yeah. We can't forget. Okay, then, uh, our next story. You know, there appears to be excitement, even if subdued, over the news that the Dangote Petroleum Refinery has slashed the price of automotive gas, gas oil, AGO, that's the diesel. Now, the refinery has announced a reduction in the price of the product from 1,200 per liter to 1,000 naira. The development is expected to positively affect all the spheres of the economy and ultimately reduce the high inflation rate in the country. It can only get better. I'm so May excited it can only get, get better. Very excited about it. It's, it's, it's not that it can okay, only, it use get diesel. better. Yes, I use diesel at home. Okay. I use a diesel generator. And the last time that I bought it was 1,650 per liter. Wow. 1,650 per liter. So when you can now reduce it to 1,000 per liter, it's so it's very, very exciting. Yeah. Because, you see, it's still going to go down. Because the more they sell, the more they sell, and you have enough, there won't Supply. be any need yeah. for you to increase. Because it's produced here, and all the other bills are by importation and, and mm. um, freight and all that is not there. And that won't say refinery have the capacity to supply and still export. And now that they've started, I'm excited. I'm just waiting for them because they plan to do this, then um, um, then later they will go to petrol. Petro. And I know that the same thing will happen when it comes to petrol. At least it yeah. will come down a little, even if it's not, it's not significant because this is sometimes buy mm. um, diesel with foreign exchange and all that. Though the government has said they will now start selling to them pay, that they have to pay now in Naira. Mm. They don't need to now use foreign, foreign yeah. exchange. Yeah. To, to pay. So I think that too will, will be able to affect the price of other petroleum products significantly. Yeah, yeah. So I'm excited about it. This, Gide, the problem is now snowball effect. You expect when it comes down, not just diesel, diesel but related issues, if you understand me. Yeah, well, first and foremost, I expect the price to go down. Okay. Um, I further uh, at one thousand naira, I'm not comfortable. Mm. I suspect that because I know that Dangote brought in crude oil from the U.S. Yeah. Because we could not supply him crude oil after the first um, consignment that he received, 
you know, from uh, Yagbami um, oil uh, field, we could not supply because of the forward sales that the okay. Buhari regime made. You know, they sold our crude oil in advance and collected money. So we could not supply whatever they produce, mm. right, as, as I heard up to the end of June. Whatever we produce, we are focusing on supplying to those clients who had paid us in advance. Yeah. So Dangote could not receive crude oil yeah. from us after the first um, consignment that he, released, that he received. Now he had to ship in crude oil, oil. Uh, from the U.S. As a result of that, the cost would definitely be higher. But if we can supply that refinery with crude oil from the inside, from here, mm. and having taken the decision earlier this week that they should pay that uh, they should pay the NMPC in Naira, we've said before that some of those charges in our country, denominated in dollars, we should stop it. In the maritime sector, a lot of charges that you have to pay in dollars. Mm. Now, you are complaining that there is extreme uh, appetite for the dollar in our country. People will first go and look for the dollars. Yeah. You know? Because, By any means. Yes. Now, since we said, okay, you, you can pay in Naira, the cost will definitely invariably go down. In fact, the marketers uh, are saying, that it should go to between 700 and 850. They complained yeah. that it was too high at that time. And as far as they are concerned, there's no vessel cost, no import charges, and other costs associated with importation of the commodity. And because of that, they expect this to actually sell at between 700 and 850. And 80, yeah, okay. If we get to 850, I will be really, really excited because nothing has driven inflation as much as this mm. diesel costs. Yeah. The vehicles, the, the, the articulated vehicles, the other big trucks that bring in food from the north to the south mm. and from the south to the north, they use diesel. And generators they across use the diesel. country. Generators. They use diesel. And, mm. and the, the, the big companies, the manufacturing concerns, yeah. they are also reliant on diesel because we all know that public electricity supply has become a joke in our country. Yeah. Already six six uh, um, system failures, grid collapses in just four months. We've had six already. It's more than an average of one uh, grid collapse in a month. So flour mills and a lot of those big companies is, is diesel that they rely on. So if we can bring in, I mean, if we can bring down the cost of diesel, and I supported NLC when they demanded that VAT should be removed from diesel so that I can help bring down the cost. That what he was right when he said, if diesel prices come down, that it will have a positive in, uh, effect on the inflationary trend. I agree. A lot of things. You have this, uh, you, you go to the big uh, superstores, yeah. the malls, and the rest of them, they are all using diesel. diesel. Because most of the time, there's no light. You put people in band A, you barely give them six hours of electricity. There's no joke bigger than that. And you so, collect 225. Eh, you put them on band A, you cannot, okay. Uh, when, uh, I was supposed to be in band A. The I, other day, I don't know what they are down, doing. We came down to 46 megawatts. And we want to be uh, billing people so much. We are charging people. You see, what the, the, uh, I have told the band A people to pay now mm. is higher than the U.S. average. So does it make sense for uh, electricity or your energy cost to be higher, higher in Nigeria than the U.S.? What are we talking about? It doesn't make any sense. Then it is, I don't know how people, you know, we were discussing before we came on here. Yeah. And I said, look, how do you expect people to pay an average of 240000 naira a month on electricity? Mm. In a neighborhood in Omoli that I stay, where you have retirees, you have civil mm. servants, mm. you have people who are average Nigerians, and you expect them to be able to pay two hundred and forty thousand. 
because prior to this time, our ener my energy bill per week was 20,000 Naira a week. Now it's 60,000 Naira a week. Hmm. How do you want a, a life in Nigeria to survive that? How they came up with that policy, I, I don't understand. No, it's, it's clear I, that um, they believe that with that, maybe investors will come in and all that. For people, I had always felt that, look, there is no appropriate pricing and that because of that, investors are not coming. The environment but is not there. But you, no, you the, the, you know, the, the, the rate was not cost reflective. Okay. A situation in which you spend 200 Naira to generate electricity, to deliver electricity to the end consumers, and you actually get maybe 150. So it's not cost no, reflective, no, no, it is not. and government continue to subsidize. And the subsidy, in the end, it wasn't benefiting the ordinary people. Because okay. all kinds of, if, if we are to talk about even the Jenkos, some of the, some of the uh, advantages, some of the benefits that we gave Jenkos, it can only happen in a country where people have simply been permitted to steal. Yeah. You know? Let's take uh, the AGO um, matter. Let's close it here. Um, I'm saying t from between now and June, yes. uh, after June, we, we expect something to change. Yes, once, you see, once the, we are through with the, those, the forward sales, Yes. We, the, our commitment to the, the forward sales that the last president, uh, the last administration got into, we have to fulfill. We have to honor that obligation. Once we honor, if we finish honoring that obligation, we will earn more. Okay. Because we are unable to sell, That's you are it. producing now. The reason, the, what we are able to get now, what we are able to make now, is just because we have, we are producing more crude oil more now than doing. That's it. Baba Buhari. So that's the little that we are producing now. We are able to sell. Let me explain it this way. We are producing higher than the, uh, the, the daily output of that time. Okay. That the, the previous administration. That the, the previous administration then sold. So it's like, let's say they are producing 400,000 consistently. Barrels. A, a barrels a day. Mm. Now, they now sold in advance 400,000 barrels. Now, because we are able to produce more than that, okay. we are able to sell the little, the, 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 e the extra, the excess, the mm. excess now, mm. we are able to sell. That is what we are earning. We are not able to earn good money what, what from crude oil. We are supposed to, to earn. Because what we should earn had already been pre-sold. Mm. So now, once we are through with that, we finish that um, uh, contract, they, we will be able to earn more. People don't know that we are not actually earning more because of that problem. We'll be able to earn more. And that will also affect uh, forest liquidity, you know? Okay. Uh, and um, in my view, the Naira should even appreciate once we are able yeah. to earn yeah. more. Yeah, GD, you, you just talked about earning. Let's earn some money. We'll go on a break now. Uh, please stay with us. We'll be back shortly. to pay the money for the recruitment consultancy you did for my company. Beautiful. Uh, I put two million. I just hold on. <laughs> I now collect dollars. What? Yes. I don't understand what's happening to Naira these days. So, so it's going to be two million times today's exchange rate. Uh, 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 doctor, wait, wait. Doctor, wait. Don't tell me you are one of those people who directly put pressure on the Naira and make it lose its value. You want to dollarize our economy and yet you pretend as if you don't know what is happening to the Naira. I've told you about how you abuse the Naira by spraying and stamping on it during your occasion. You deface and abuse the Naira as if it's not our national asset. But you can't make it easy. How? I will not take this. And neither will the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission task force on currency abuse and forex malpractice. Take it easy with you. They are coming for you. Disease from economic sabotage. Or you will face the rock of the law.
Okay then, um, Mayor, quickly, uh, on a final note. The skirmish in the South uh, Middle East, you expect would have affected the price of... of, of yes, the of price oil. will continue to go up, naturally. Mm. And I, what it means is that, like we said, by, from July, when we start selling, when we can now collect money for everything that we sell, mm. we will be able to generate enough money. And that will, that will help us a lot. Uh, and and we'll also, see. if the government yeah. now starts supplying um, Dangote and the other modular refineries, um, crude, paying in Naira, it will bring down the cost of production yes, yes, products. Yes, because it's, the cost of production will it, have gone down. Gone down yeah, down it's a matter of time. Yes. And you know, I, I, I tell people, those who say, ah, we are not producing, if Nigeria can do 2.5 million barrels a day, this whole Naira, I mean, dollar oh, illiquidity yes. will go. We'll go. Yeah. Forget the fact that, okay, we are not uh, pro, uh, producing other things in good quantity. Okay. 2.5 2. million barrels a day. is something. Which we're supposed it to do. It will really, something. yes. It we are something. not meeting our quota. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go to our next story. Talk uh, hardcore politics. You know, the national <coughs> leadership of the All Progressives Congress, APC, is in the eye of the storm, or so it seems. On the one hand, a Kano State High Court has granted an ex parte order affirming the suspension of the national chairman of the APC, Abdullahi Ganduje. But the APC National Working Committee, NWC, has expressed implicit confidence in the leadership of the national chairman. Rather curiously, the faction of the, a faction of the Nigeria People's Party, uh, New Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, led by retired Major Agbo, announced the suspension of the state governor, Abba Yusuf, for six months over an alleged infraction against the party's constitution. What would they think of next? Are, are you sure? I think um, what is happening now is so unfortunate. So unfortunate because I don't know whether it's, I think the last CJ, mm. the last CJ, Advise judges, Chief yes, Justice, yeah. Chief Justice, advise judges to stop giving ex parte orders that they should put people on notice when they bring an ex parte, because an ex parte order is an order that you will get when the other party is not represented. Because if they have been put on notice, maybe the lordship will have been able to know that it was established that those who claim, who purportedly suspended the party chairman were imposters. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me, that they were imposters. Not only that they were imposters, they were suspended mm. for six months. And the original uh, members of executives of that ward came out to say they didn't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. So, ab initio, those who went to court to get ex parte order do not have the locals to do that because they are already on suspension. So they can't go to court to go and get an ex parte order. But unfortunately, uh, some, members, some members of the judiciary allow things like this to happen, which is not good, because somebody will just go and seek for an ex parte order. So, sometimes you wonder if it's deliberate. But they are not, yes, they're not supposed to allow that, because that's what I said, the chief justice said, the last chief justice said, they should stop this idea, because you know it became fashionable at a time for everybody to just go to court and get an ex parte order when yeah. you want to stop something. Mm -hmm. You understand? And he said, no, put the other party on notice. Because if the other party have been on notice, they will be able to explain to the judge to say, look, it has been established that these people were imposters and that the real executive said they didn't know anything about it. Mm. But having said that, we have to follow the law. The law is the law. So, but what is important is that the highest organ of the party has endorsed Ganduje as chairman. No matter what people or those people do not like about Ganduje, mm. what is important is not those people who went to court. The court is not the one that will decide how a party should be run. Obviously. So is the, if, the, if, the, if the highest organ of the party says they have implicit confidence in their chairman, that is what is important. Mm. So the only thing is just that the chairman will have to wait till I think it's the 30th of April or so, when the case will come up, and then they will be able to ask for that ex parte mm -hmm. to be discharged. Yes. And I think it will be discharged because, like I said, those who came, they, if, you are, if you want to come to equity, 
You must come with cleaners. Yeah. They didn't come with cleaners because already people have already raised an issue that they were imposters. And because of that, the party in the state suspended them for six months. Yeah. Even from, from his ward. Yes. So, uh, but it's unfortunate that it, it, another is another. Mm. It has to be followed. Even if we don't like it, the, worst, the best we can do is to appeal against it. Yeah. You understand? But the, I think by the, time they, by the time they start the substantive case, they'll be able to decide the expert. Gini, does it trouble you, as it troubles me, that our political parties don't appear healthy? No, that's not, the, that's not what happened in this case. You know, um, this is a very political matter. And as I said yesterday, you can't dismiss the fact that the NMPP has a hand in what is Of course. Happening. Because, as I've been told, people like Kwon Kwaso want to come back to APC. Kwon Kwaso will never <laughs> come to APC with Ganduje as the national chairman. Oh, really? Yes. They cannot work in the same party. Never. When I said that um, um, Kwon Kwaso and um, Shikarao cannot work in the same party, Somebody wanted to expose me as a liar. He went and tried to work with Kwankwasu. He out tried to work with Kwankwasu. What happened? He left the party. Even the position that they gave him, yeah. the senatorial seat that they gave him, he vacated it. That no, I won't. Because he knew have an issue that they were bitter enemies. Okay. But because of a quarrel with Ganduje, he went to align with his bitter enemy, and he got uh, to, uh, he got pelted in the face with tomatoes. So that's what happened. He would not want to come into APC with Ganduje, his arch enemy, as the national chairman. <laughs> he did not pay him. So I suspect that this is what is going on underneath. The person who claimed to be Haladu Guanjo was not the real uh, man, the real legal advisor of the party in the world. The yeah. real legal advisor, who bears that name, went to the party headquarters to say, ha, I have no hand in this. This person what, just where, put on uh, glasses from? like me and, and uh, impersonated me. It's the height of, it, it's, it, just as the party described it, it's fake news. And to remove the chairman, the national chairman, of the ruling party. The president has to get involved. Mm. Someone like President Inubu, a skillful politician like that, cannot be in a party where he is not in control. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Yeah, he's president, but he's the leader of the party. The party. Yeah. So they will go and shave his head. In his absence? In his absence. Is he, <laughs> does it look like the kind of politician that you can do that to? He won't even permit you. So if the president and the power people within the APC are tired of, that, uh, of uh, uh, Ganduji, they You're know asking, what to do. Yeah. They will do it. They do, it doesn't have to pass through the, 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 the removal of the former national chairman, pass through the ward. Hmm. When... Uh, um, Oshomole was removed through the ward. We know that the governors were the ones behind it now. <laughs> and the governors not just, they did not just orchestrate uh, Oshomole's removal. They, they, they made sure that they, their own party lost uh, those states. They worked against their party. Hmm. How many of them, if you give them the Holy Quran or the Bible to swear, will swear that they didn't work against their party? We know what they did now at that time. So this thing is not that easy, that a bunch of, uh, of uh, I do boys will just sit down somewhere and say that we have removed. Even when they tried it with Abure in the uh, uh, Labour Party, it didn't work. Yeah. The national leadership told them that, no, you have no power to remove the, the uh, national chairman. Mm. So this thing is a bloody waste of time. And I'm not surprised. After that happened, you can see the other joke in <laughs> NMPP too. A faction of the NMPP 
that faction, they are tired. They believe that Kwa Kwa so is, is too, um, um, what is it called, overbearing, yeah. you know, yeah. that they must find a way to brush him aside. But that's a man who has produced a governor, the sole governor that that party has. It is the person on whose side the governor is that will prevail in matters like this. Just as this one too, it is the person that is that the uh, president is on his side that will prevail. If President Buhari has stepped in at that time, nobody will have been able to remove Oshomole. Absolutely. But he chose to look the other way because yeah. uh, he, he was clearly to, he didn't want Oshomole to continue. I guess some people have brainwashed the old man. At that time, that look, Oshomole is not the person that we need. Or oh, Oshomole is doing the bidding of a certain Lagos man. Let's get him out of mm. the way. Which was the problem? Yes, because he granted an interview where he said that uh, somebody cannot sit in Lagos. It looked like a yeah. Freudian slip at that time, you know? This is the kill and hide thing. Sometimes <laughs> what you did not plan to say will just materialize. Yeah. Fra Fra Freudian slip. Yeah. Yes. So mm. at that time, he said uh, uh, somebody cannot sit in Lagos and be telling the party what to do. So when I heard, I said, ah, what did this man just say? I knew at that time that they would find a way to send Oshomole packing. And they did. Mm. Without the president raising a hand. Mm. The president would say, oh, that, president, that former president would say, ah, I'm a diplom I'm, a, I'm a, um, a Democrat. I don't want, I don't get involved. But he ordered the senators to accept the former deputy senate president, Omar Gege, as, as their. Okay. Yes. Mm. Ask any senator of that era. It was the president who took the decision that, look, this is the person that I want as deputy senate president. Yeah. I even know a senator who resigned from his position as a principal officer because the president took that decision. He said, but this is a person that we put on trial for snatching this. <laughs> and we convicted him for snatching You have now said he should be our leader. <laughs> the people who tried him, he became their leader. That's, that's, that's what happens in the kind of politics uh, that we have in our country. Yeah, qu quickly, a, st a statement by the so-called first uh, antichrist, Napoleon Bonaparte, comes to mind here. He, he said, if your enemy is making a mistake, don't interrupt him. Yes, no, it's, uh, yes it's, it's, it's good. But in, in this case, the problem is that NMPC or NMPP, NMPP sorry, NMPP through the governor, of um, Kano State seems to have issues with Ganduje. If you look at, apart from removing him, they're trying to put him on trial and with his, his family, with his wife and mm. his son, which they don't have any power to do. They, there is a government, there is a court order saying that they don't, that the a state, a state, the FCC yes, a state, a state cannot do that. It's only FCC that has the statutory yeah. power to do that. But they want to do it because they want to create problems for him. Yeah. And so we, we, I'm, I'm not surprised that some people now say, in fact, you know that they've gone to court, and where they were able to get the expert say was also a cardinal court. In, so it's a power play like that. But the same power play is also in NMPP, because, which is also a joke, because the governor is the leader of the party in the state. Mm. Some people cannot sit somewhere, and you say they have, you have suspended the governor. So, but it's good. It's, it's, it's good. It's good for them to do that. It's, normally in politics, there's always power play. Mm. There's always power play. But like I said, in the case of Ganduje, what the president thinks and what the NWC thinks is more important than those people went to court. Okay, we go to our last storage for today, but it, we're still talking politics. You know, anxiety seems to be brewing in the opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, ahead of the National Executive Council meeting uh, that's later for tomorrow. Now, the schisms are having to do with plans to select a new national chairman to replace suspended national chairman, Senator Yoche Ayu, if you remember, and to restrict attendance at the meeting to constitutionally recognized members. Meanwhile, it's alleged that a former River State Hemsman, Nisam Wiki, is pulling all the stops to get Ambassador Umar Damagum to retain his office as national chairman of the PDP. The days ahead will tell what happens next, Jide, I think. Yes, um, it's, um, I'm so eager to, <laughs> to see what will happen uh, at the 
PDP make because for a long time they've not had a net meeting uh, and um, it's always difficult for these parties to have net meetings. Hmm. I don't know why, even the APC. Because major decisions are taken. Yeah, and uh, you know, anything can happen at a net meeting. That is the outside of the convention. It hmm. is the biggest decision making organ of the party, outside of the convention. The convention is the um, the most powerful. Any decision reached at the convention grant. Now, Yison Wiki has been playing all kinds of games with the with the PDP, and I've asked repeatedly. But he does not hold any position in the party. Well, yes, but he's a um, he's a very strong party member. <laughs> at the same time, he's serving an APC government. You can say that nothing precludes him from serving his fatherland. And he's okay. doing a damn good job. Very good That's job. When people say, oh, what has changed since this government uh, uh, got into office? Some of our people, they ask the same questions on social media. Mm. Ignorance fueled questions that tell me what has changed. Tell me one achievement of this government. If you have eyes that see in daytime, <laughs> because if eyes don't see after nightfall, you can say, okay, maybe the place is uh, is Dark. not is uh, dimly lit or something. Mm -hmm. But you have eyes that see in daytime. You are not going to say Wiki is not working. Mm -hmm. And this has nothing to do with whether I like him. People see me here criticizing him. But the kind of work that he's doing in Abuja, <laughs> even his enemies will admit. This is one way of answering those who say, ah, nothing has happened since that Baba took office. These statements are instigated by deep-seated hatred mm. and anger about the outcome of the primaries of the APC and the uh, general election itself that produced as well as Metinubu as president. Wiki is one of the undoubted stars of this administration. You just need to drive around Abuja. In fact, somebody was telling me that some of our dri drivers, they get lost now on Abuja roads. OK. Yes, because some roads that they did not know have interconnectivity. Wiki has suddenly made them to have interconnectivity. So where you thought this road used to terminate, no, it's actually taking you uh, elsewhere. So that's, uh, that's uh, um, by the way, I'm saying that he has the right to serve his country. Mm. In other countries, especially the US, when a Republican president comes in, he will headhunt bright people in the Democratic okay. Party to yeah. come and serve in his government. I've seen that happen. So if you within his right to serve his, his mm. country, some people said what he did was unconstitutional. I don't know if in the concern of the PDP, it is written that you must not serve mm. um, a ruling party. But, even but, got but, approval, but, even but, got but, approval but, from party. That's what it's, uh, you know, it's we, one of the things that they hold, they, they believe that Damar Gumi is his man. We had the late Bolaige. AD at the time, so, serving yeah. in Obasanjo. Yes, yeah. Obasanjo, even Abdul Kadri, national chairman of, of uh, 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 AD, AD then, served in his government. Yeah. Obasanjo yeah. used uh, a number of them. Remember the Maman, the NTA man? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, who, was okay. Also, who was ambassador yeah. to Spain. Yeah. He also served in yeah. the government. Okay. And he was yeah. from a rival party. So, Mama Yusuf. Yes. Mama Yusuf. Yes. Yeah. Now, we came wants Damagum to continue. But something happened today that may actually tilt okay. the scales. Okay. All along, Yoche Ayu had sued the, uh, the PDP the, about his, the, the manner in which he was uh, pushed, out. Uh, uh, pushed out. But today, it's been confirmed that he has withdrawn that case. He is discontinuing the case. There is a notice from the court saying that that case has been discontinued. That will 
now fuel the agitation that the chairmanship should remain in the North Central. Okay. Yes, because the coming of um, Damagum was uh, uh, based on the sudden removal of this man, of uh, Ayu. But now with Ayu out of the way, and having said it's not going to court anymore, people have been pushing that it should go to the North Central. Now people like Gabriel Susu and former governor of Benue, he yeah. wants to be national chairman. Okay, yeah. There are others who they want this thing to go, but since the former chairman is from North Central and he didn't finish his mm. term. So that sentiment may determine who will become the, the acting national chairman of the party. But I also know that Wiki has his, he still has his loyalists within the party. And that's why you ask yourself, how come they've not been able to move against him? Mm -hmm. I think every time they are thinking about the implication that if we move against this guy, what could happen? They know he has resources, they know he's a fighter. So it is a straight battle for control of the party between him and Atiku at this time. Whether the younger people in the party will side with a wiki or simply say, look, wiki has been a son. Uh, uh, yes, let us side Atiku so that Atiku can take control of the party. But there are those who will say, look, this party does not belong to Atiku. He's mm -hmm. been using this party to collect a presidential ticket and has never managed to win an election. All those two are in the party. Mm -hmm. What they too should feel that the, 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 I mean, the party belongs to them. So it's a very tricky thing, but the governors will decide, mm. as it has always been the case. The governors will decide where the pendulum swings. What? Mayor, I cannot forget, uh, sorry, sorry, without prejudice, prejudice of what you are going to say. You know, I cannot forget when there was going to be a convention in. In, in, in of the APC, PDP somewhere, and Wiki insisted on it being held in Port Harcourt. Port Harcourt. If yes. you if you didn't bring yeah. it here, forget it. Yes. Yeah, because and at that PDP time he was supporting no, Tambua. He thought yes, he would be able to yeah, help Tambua to. He wanted Tambua to be the candidate then, him. and then the military class, the military class, sent a delegation to Obasanjo mm. to, for him to forgive Atiku there, and they moved into Port Harcourt and they changed it. That's one of the reasons why. That was one of the beginning of the problem with VK and members of the party. Because at that time, VK was the major financier of the party. Yes. And he, he thought he would be able to install Tambua. But the military class were able to, last minute, mm. convince people to go with that. Yeah. People like Guso. In PDP, there are three tendencies. Okay. The governors. Atiku and the establishment within the party. Mm. And the VK. Tendencies. Those are the three tendencies within the party. All of them now are fighting for the chairmanship of the party. But, as, but the article and the establishment tendencies seems to have an edge. Why they have an edge is because they've met and different power blocks have already endorsed Suswan mm. to be chairman. So it's likely that chairman, Suswan is going to be the next chairman of PDP. Because their own argument, like you said, was that they want somebody to, to complete the, the, term. Te the, the, the tenure term of Ayu. Yeah. But for Ayu to withdraw that case is because he has been convinced to do so. Because they won't be able to do anything without him getting along That's the establishment. It. Okay. So the establishment will be able to convince him to say, look, let us move forward and be able to as smart um, Wiki. Uh, Wiki. Mm. Because they know that if that lacuna is there, what the Wiki group will argue is that let us remain, let us continue with the status quo as it mm. is. And the present chairman will be returned. Mm. So because they don't want that, they'll be able to convince you to say, look, the only way we can outsmart Wiki is for you to remove this case, okay, so that we can now say that let somebody from the North Central complete this your term. And they have, they have already, the people from the North Central and the Pablo from the North Central have already endorsed Suswan as their candidate. Mm. So it is, that's the power play that we are looking forward to tomorrow. I know that Wiki, you see, Wiki, Wiki is an excellent politician. 
you have to give that to him because they've always wanted to deal with him, but they cannot deal with him because he covers his tracks. What are you going to accuse him of? Mm. If you say that he has joined PDP, before he did that, he wrote a letter to executives of his party. You mean joined APC? Before joining APC, he wrote... Administration. Yes. Mm -hmm. He wrote, before joining the APC's administration as minister, he wrote to executives of his party from, different, from the world to the state. As expected. Yes. Informing them that, oh, I've been asked to do this national mm -hmm. assignment. So he has already covered the tracks. You cannot now say that he has done anti-party. Mm. Because anybody, it is an honor to serve your country. Yes. Yeah. So he has already covered his track. And that's why the fact that he, when he was doing anti-party and he was against the party in the last election through association with other people, they could not do anything to him. And he's still a major player in the party. You have to give it to him that yes. he's a damn good Politician. He's but I think they are going to assmart him. controlling two, two parties in yes. the past now. <laughs> his, his men are in control of uh, APC. APC, yeah. His men are in control of PDP. PDP. One wow. person wow. controlling two parties. In fact, the governor complained recently that the, the new executives yes. in uh, PDP that list, <laughs> were his men. You know, they said that the caretaker is a joke and this and what. Uh, PDP came out to say, look, uh, there's nothing wrong with that uh, caretaker list. Because he addressed the people and said, look, it's a joke taken too far. Uh, that uh, list will not see the light of day. But the party came out to say that list is authentic. Mm. So what do you because do? Because the chairman of the party is in his fa is, is with Yes. It. And when you, have, when you have a chairman, you are very powerful. Mm. So you have to give it, it to will still it. find a way to but I think the, penetrate I, the I other think, people. I think, the other, I think the other side will probably win this battle that we're looking right? at. Yes, uh, because he doesn't have uh, his friends, the governors, uh, a good number of them left yes. after May 29. So I think now, apart from uh, Fin 3, the governor of Adama mm. and CE, yes. I don't think he has governors uh, okay. anymore. And okay. those, those people are usually the difference makers. So. All right. Um, uh, gentlemen, I'm reminded in this connection of another saying. In politics, stupidity is not a handicap. No, it's not. Live, live and make it day there. <laughs> All right, so I, I hear we must go. So not before thanking Biki, well, thank you for your time. Thanks. And uh, Mayor Akikwalo, many thanks too. Thank We're you. done, but if you missed our show, not to worry, later tonight at 11, you have the opportunity of watching a repeat broadcast. And on Sunday, we expand the field for you, as I always say, from between 1.30 to 3.30. We are also on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. I am Citizen Jones Usain. Bye-bye now. Take care.